our first pull in my Ether 9M5 with a new clutch. Alright you guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Eric from the Beamer Fam. Right before we start jumping into things regarding the clutch on my E30 on M5, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, you know, I apologize for being a little inactive uh, for the past week or two weeks or so. You know, I know you guys out there, you know, you guys really do want to see the proper content and, um, you know, I've been having a lot going on with the car and personal life, that kind of thing. But you know, don't don't worry. We're gonna have a lot more footage. Um, you know, my car is all fixed up. Um, it's got its it's got its well needed maintenance done, and now it is back to being a proper M5. Um, so you know, just want to let you guys know that you know the content will start picking picking back up, especially since the car is back to how it should be driving. Thing. This thing is back in action. Um, it's, it has a new clutch, has a new flex disc, has a new has new power steering lines. Um, so now you know everything is how it should be. So yeah, enjoy the video. What's going on YouTube? All right, so we just moved into my room real quick. Um, we're about to bust open into the kit and see exactly what it, what the kit contains. So this is an OEM clutch kit from Turner Motorsport. The make is LUK. I didn't really want to go with anything too fancy. Just wanted to grab the OEM kit just so I can, you know, keep it. Cause you, you guys know I like the OEM feel. Um, but also just want to keep it as smooth as the OEM one because I daily drive a car. Um, so right here we have the clutch disc. Put that right there. And right here we have the clutch plate. It's got some weight to it. I'm gonna get a close up on this. So the, and I got this side as well. And then right here we have a, seems, I think it's a bushing. Um, we have this as well. That's all the components in a clutch kit, it's the invoice. If you guys don't know how a clutch works, this is pretty much the stationary piece of the clutch. Um, and then when, here's the other piece of it. And so what happens is, um, obviously this is gonna be spinning at a high speed. And the, the clutch pedal down, it'll go like that. And release on change gears. Put it back in, it goes like that. So, just a quick uh, 101 on how a clutch works. Um, that's pretty much the basics in terms of what it visually looks like when you're changing gears or just letting the clutch go, um, dropping the pedal. But yeah, that's, that's, that's my clutch kit on the E39M5. The next step in the process is to actually go and get it dropped in the car. I guess we can just fast forward to when I do get that done. What's going on guys? Uh, popped in the Jeep. Uh, we got Tabby with us. Tabby? Hey, what's up Tabby? You know, she's going for a quick ride with us. Um, but we're about to pick up the car. The clutch is done. Um, I didn't really get to film any of the in-depth uh, footage on it. You know, how, how to put it in and all that kind of stuff. But, nevertheless, the clutch is done. Um, so, I'm just going to go pick it up and get my reaction. And I'll tell you a little bit about having a brand new clutch. Pretty sweet. Hell uh, yeah. Right, back in the M5. So let's go get some gas. Ooh, pedal feels a little different. Oh wow. Oh wow. Whoa. <laughs> Very different. It's way more perky. 
feels like wow pedal that's how the pedal should feel yeah my clutch was very warm Oh. Wow, it actually feels like a new car. Holy sh Wow. Cool. Wow. Yes. Oh, I can't even feel the shifts anymore. Like it's a lot smoother. Wow. So I know I'm sounding like I'm geeking, but you know I'm used to my my clutch was pretty worn. Um, my main thing was finding the time to do the job, and you know since it's my only car, just pretty much being without the car. Um, but wow! So I do have to break in the clutch. He said uh, around a full tank of gas. Um, that's you know really not that bad if you think about it. You know, this dude saying, give me a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, you could feel it a little bit in the pedal um, and it, you know, it wasn't a good feeling. Everything from the shifting, the engage, just the overall driving experience has been enhanced. All right, so now this is after the break-in period of my clutch. Hope you guys saw me riding with my, my new clutch in the car. Um, you know, unfortunately I didn't really get to do any pulls in the car, but that's what we're going to do today. So I am well past the break-in period um, for my clutch, and I'm, I'm actually past the, the break-in period for about a, a solid 400 miles. Um, I've really been trying to put miles on this car after I got the clutch in, because so, you, know, you know I want to experience what it's like to have an E39 M5 with a brand new clutch. So we're going to turn sport mode on, and we're going to take traction control off. Um, we're going to hit some back roads by my house, maybe take some corners, but really see what it's like to engage the gear. Um, you know, how much easier is it to engage the gear? Before I replace the clutch, I mean, the clutch had slipped a few times here and there. It wasn't slipping all the time. Pretty much, if I did multiple accelerations in a short amount of time, the clutch would start slipping. I guess it would heat up the clutch and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the best feeling to, you know, throw in gear and then just hear your, your engine rev, like, vroom! You know, not not catching gear, so you know it's, a, it's one of the worst feelings to have in a manual car. Um, but nevertheless, we're in sport mode. Track control is off. We're on a back road, and we are going to test out our first pull in my E39 M5 with a new clutch. I don't have the M gloves with me. They're actually in a costume that I was wearing. Um, it's actually a pocket of the costume, so we don't get it. We're gonna get it with the bare skin, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's put it in a second. My neck in the back of my neck ah, damn I, I might need an adjustment I might have to hit the chiropractor in a second Wow Shit. that is one hell of a difference I mean the biggest thing I'm noticing I mentioned it before but it's it's the downshifts Wow the downshifts you can't even feel I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really not used to I've never... The only car I've driven with a proper clutch is my brother's E92 M3. Uh, let's see what we're doing around the corner. <laughs> we got us here a nice little proper car. That's what I'm talking about. I need it. 
even before when the clutch was bad like let's just say i do an acceleration in like any gear but mainly first gear uh do an acceleration and then you pull like you push the clutch pedal down and you, it's just not smooth you, you know you kind of feel you feel it's almost like sandpaper rubbing against each other um it just it didn't feel good in the pedal at all it wasn't the pedal itself it was you could feel the clutch like it, it was in rough shape um i'll throw up a picture of what the clutch looked like um never you never want to get your clutch that low um i probably should have gotten that clutch replaced a lot sooner um you know i was kind of struggling with time because uh, this is my only car it's my daily driver so yeah, i mean it's a great feeling now mechanically the car is 100 percent i'm running how it's supposed to before my power steering lines were leaking a little bit uh, my flex disc or also known as the guibo that would give me a slight vibration at a certain rpm throughout the cabin but now since all of it is fixed i can, I can just go back to being you know a bmw e39 m5 driver so that you know that that's gonna mean more povs that's gonna mean you know more skits that's gonna mean a full in-depth review on my e39 m5 that's something i have not done yet um and i can also update you guys with the maintenance costs on on a car for owning it over two years so yeah pretty much e39 m5 content is going to be at an all-time high i'm also going to be getting a few few bits and pieces here on the car repainted um, so, you know, I'm really, I'm really going for the full kind of restore in a way, but, um, it's not too much that needs to be restored, but I really want this car looking like it came out the factory. Um, and, but also with my little twist on it, you know what I mean? What I think, what I think BMW should have released this car as. So yeah, you know, if you guys want to join me on the journey to, you know, building my M5 to how exactly how I want it. Um, and you know, a little bit how you guys want it as well. So if you guys want me to add certain modifications, definitely drop a comment below contact me on instagram or anything like that um but yeah you know follow me on the journey make sure you hit that subscribe button drop a like on this video let's see if we can get to 100 likes on this video and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching